All right, guys. More video, more content. Been able to do this a while, but right now my city's in the middle of uh, shit with all this, uh, you know, BLM uh, riots and everything. We're one of the hot spots. So I've been doing more research on shit that I needed to be doing, but still putting out content. Still got a whole lot of stuff. You know, I've learned a lot lately. Nothing will get you on track like being in the middle of some shit and put focus in your brain but anyway this video is going to be on the canic uh this is the double action single action mode or double action single action version the da um i'm this is what i'm gonna consider a budget pistol i got a whole getting her after this video I wanted to put this video out first before I do a best budget pistols video because I'll kind of talk about this, but I'm a, don't want to do a double video. I want to gloss over this one particular first. So anyway, um, I'm reluctant to try new guns. I'm not really in the point of my collection to really just go out and buy stuff and test it out as John Lovell, or however you say his name from Warrior Poet Society, says, I'm more of a protector than a collector. That means each one of these is mainly a tool to me. I like to dress them up, look nice, but each one is a specific tool. I don't mind throwing it down if I have to. You know, uh, anyway. But until then, until that day comes, I like cool stuff. So really what tracked my eye on this was the burnt bronze. I was in a burnt bronze phase. I got a few things. It's one of my favorite colors for guns. It just, it sticks out to me. And uh, this looks way better than the camera will pick it up. So I keep hearing good stuff about the Canik. I took a long time. I think I paid 320 for it. I found it somewhere around, you know, around this time and middle of the spree i'm pretty good at finding stuff i could find most of the stuff i wanted except for hollow points hollow points are pretty hard for me to get right now and anyway so the color st stuck out to me so i was like i really want this gun it's a good price i've heard good stuff about it so i started diving into it. i've seen plenty of torture tests on it. it works pretty good most people had good situations with it one guy i talked to had a striker issue they fixed it really fast and uh nothing but good stuff out of it they say they run so i figured i'd give it a a go this is not gonna be primary go to war gun but you know something just to have extra uh somewhere to put in the put into a place where i'm not likely going to be attacked but if i am attacked i have something there that type of deal um anyway so this is just a universal holster so i like to have something like this around not my favorite retention kind of sucks but you can fit anything in here so this gun is hot because all my guns are hot so this is the burnt bronze it's got this double action which decocks it and even though i know it's unloaded always double check so decox it and then you have a double action mode and we talk like normal single action uh people love these triggers um the trigger isn't bad i haven't really put enough time with it because it's different at least on this mode i haven't shot any of the other well any of the other versions beside this double action mode the trigger is a little bit different so i'm not suspecting that's because of the double action mode it's got this um, weird snap in the beginning that it comes up to a very crisp, very crisp trigger. There's a good possibility that after some time that I could love this trigger more than any other factory trigger. I haven't put the time on. I got around 200 rounds with this gun, and it's been reliable. It shoots great. Didn't think uh, it ejected um, as hard as I liked, but... Like I said, it's it's pretty proven. People who are skeptics generally like this gun. And uh, that's another thing. You know, nowadays on YouTube, and this is the main, this is the only reason why I really have a channel. 
I don't care about being rich of it. Being rich, I don't really want to be famous, but I have an opinion and I try to be honest about it. If a gun does not run for me or has problems, I'm going to tell it. And you're not going to gain fans that way. You're not going to become popular doing that because what people want to hear is that their $140 high point, I'm not bashing high point, but their $140 high point is as good as any gun made in all aspects. It is, matter of fact, good as the best gun in the world. Just as good. That's kind. And you tell people that, you'll get the views. Everybody will jump on there. And I'm not bashing high point. I think they're ugly, but I have no experience with them. I don't own one. I think the triggers are shit, and the safety's kind of oblong. But other than that, I've never really shot one. Don't really feel the need to. So, anyway. So, it, they make some beautiful guns. Their tones and everything's beautiful. And on initial inspection, dog hair. It's one thing about dogs, man. Got a retriever and a mastiff. So, the slide in the middle, middle urgy can't talk it's been a long day but anyway the slide in the middle urgy is um pretty good i see no problem with it, it comes with, at least on this model it comes with worn sights probably gonna upgrade it to night sights because i kind of like the gun a little bit um it's got a ambidextrous safety on it it feels great in your hand there's it may be one of the best in the handguns there is i like my mnp I haven't really held them side by side and judged what I like, but it's close. It's got a flared magwell. Now, I'll tell you what, now, as far as design go, I don't like the little thing on the back. I think it, it just reminds me of, like, the old ring of fire guns, the Jennings and stuff. But anyway, so, but it ain't no big deal. It's just personal preference. I'm not going to not buy a gun over it. Um... Let's see if you can see it now. My big hit on this gun, and really where it's taking a hit for me overall, where I don't, maybe I'll buy, I might buy another one of these, but I have doubts on it. If I get one for like 250, 279, I, I passed up one recently for 279. I should have jumped it, not this one, but one of the they, I can't remember they have so many models like V V1 or V9. I'm not sure. Anyway, I was told it was one of the earlier models, so. The polymers kind of made shitty. So, let's see if you can see right here. I've worked as quality assurance before, and I know, and I actually worked in a place that did plastic moldings. This ain't good. And this is only one sample. Maybe the guy that did this was, you know, his wife was breaking up with him or something that day. I don't know. But there's runs, and it's, let me look at it a little closer. It's kind of all over, you know, like this little pattern right here. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's a little crooked. I don't think that was designed that way. And there's little small imperfections, little small imperfections in the polymer all over. Nothing is, is perfect, you know. It just, let's take it apart for you. Kind of comes apart like a Glock. since I took it in rain, I need to clean this out, but, uh, you know, just the plastic isn't, uh, the polymer isn't perfect, there's a little grind mark there, you know, I don't feel I'm nitpicking because in my mind, that is a quality issue, I know it's a quality issue, I'm not the most foremost expert in guns, but I know quality in plastic moldings. The metal seems fine, and these guns are proven to work, so, you know, even with this, hell, it might shoot 40,000 rounds with that bad plastic, but it is not the highest grade it could be, but they work, you know. I definitely would probably recommend this to somebody. I'd recommend other guns first, but that will come up in a future video. Um, the magazines are... Metgar magazines and these are some good feeling magazines. I've heard they slide out the original ones and this is from what I've heard I haven't double checked it but the original ones was having trouble falling free and I from what I've heard they was Teflon coated always you know if you're super into 
the exacts of the histories of stuff like this. Research yourself and comment below. I like to learn everything if I'm wrong. Um, 19 rounds, 18 plus 1. It's a lot of firepower. A lot of firepower. Um, Alright guys, that's the quick video on this. Alright, thanks.